um, once again, this is the Kaya Productions. Um, I'm going to be showing you just a little clip, um, of, uh, me playing some of Modern Warfare 3. And, um, I know everybody's excited for Black Ops 2. I just wanted to say how excited I am for Black Ops 2, and I wish you all to have a very nice holiday around that time. Um, so, as you can see, I am a total lover of the UMP. In this match, I got two EMPs. Um, yes, it, I have started getting EMPs a lot lately. Um, I have started doing a lot better than I usually do. Um, do not get me wrong, I don't start doing good until later in the game. But, um, I start to do pretty well. This is the class I was using, in case you guys want to know, this is like the best, um, class. So I have the UMP, don't have a silencer on it, have rapid fire, I think. Rapid fire, and, I want to say FMJ. Rapid fire and FMJ, and as you can see, that guy knifes me. But he totally misses, which is a complete fail. I turn around, I did not see the guy in the window, and he kills me. Um, also, I seem to have trouble. Like, as you can see, my kill streak count is start starting to stack up. When I'm one kill away from, like, a big kill streak or something, I always die. It's kind of weird. Um, yeah, I, it's not fun. Um, and wow, I just smoked that sniper. Um, so, I definitely think that, um, the, what should we call it, autumn camo is one of the best things you can put in this class because it just looks so damn cool. Um, I have to say, say that this is probably my favorite class and my favorite gun and my favorite everything. The only thing I do not like about this class is really just that the um, UMP, not the whole thing, the whole thing, not, it's just one part of the UMP that is, um, just one part of the UMP that is, um, the camo. I wish it would be the whole thing, like, yeah, I just wish it would. As you can see, that was his kill. I totally wanted it to be mine, um, now, the campaign in this game really is not that great. It's just, there's not a variety of different things you can do, like in Modern Warfare 2. It's a lot of just the same idea. There aren't different characters. Like, I like the ones, like in COD 4, where you sneak in on that guy. And so, now I saw that guy on the stairs, and this is where I start to get a little pretty good. And as you can see, that guy's up in the window, totally camping, like a total douchebag. And that's how, um, I know that he's a total douchebag, because he camps. Um, as you can see, I walk right here again. This is where I start to suck again, because of this total douche. So this time, I'm being very careful. I come in the house. I come up. He tries to get me. Nope. No way, Jose. There's nobody here, and did you see that bottle? Please, did you see that red light? If you didn't, that's kind of retarded, because I did. Um, and I always all like thinking, what what kind of explosive is that? Is that is is that even an explosive? And I found out it wasn't. So then it just got yeah. I definitely could have gotten that guy, but I'm in the, always in the habit of shooting somebody, and as soon as I kill them, I reload. Which is pretty bad for my ammunition, because waste it. But, uh, as you can see, that was kind of stupid of me to just hop in the room like that. Um, I'm not, like, as good as, like, people like Ali A or anything. But, you have to admit, I'm not bad at all. See, I just got two kills, and now I have my EMP. I call him my EMP, as you can see. And then I start off my round all over again, at one kill. And, just to tell you, not to give away or anything, but I get to the, my second EMP, um, and yes. Um, the way I could tell I was going to get the two EMPs and to try hard is because I got it when the score was not even to 100 yet. So I got it before even the first half of the game was over. And, 
usually I start sucking at the beginning. And as you see, I'm unlocking all kinds of crap. I've gotten like a couple thousand XP. And I'm leveling up, so I think I'm like pers first prestige of 50 crap, something. At this moment right now, I'm probably something higher. I'm now on 10th prestige in Call of Duty 4. Um, so, I like hacking, but I know it's hard. Some people can do it. I definitely cannot. I fail epically. Um, um, yeah. Um, you know, I have some glitches to show you guys. Some new and fun stuff that I would love to share with you guys. I'm just going to find it, because I don't know. I have the DLC map, but as you guys know, you cannot use the DLC 1 until you bought the DLC 2, which kind of sucks from what, from my perspective, it sucks total lame. Um, and for that matter, um, it just, it's just total bullshit. Total bullshit. Um, yeah. Um, also, I think they should definitely make more maps for this, but I do not like the DLC. So if you have DLC 1 and 2 and they come out with the third one, you cannot play 1 or 2 until you get the third one. That one's, that sucks. And as you see, that was totally my kill. That, that, that just sucked, don't you agree? I mean, that was absolutely, positively my fucking kill. And that guy just stepped right in. And shot. And if you're actually watching this video, which almost nobody will, can you please tell your friends and have them watch it, please? I beg you. I don't care if they think I'm bad, good, terrible, or whatnot. Um, and if they do, I would encourage you guys to go to Gaming with the Stars and look up Samuel L. Jackson. Samuel, Gaming with the Stars, Samuel L. Jackson. My favorite line from him is, The situation requires you do more. Shut the fuck up. He just says all these funny remarks to these people, and then they, they think he's crazy. It's just hilarious. I would, d and you see that asshole just pops his head up, bad idea, um, look out of the window, see, as you can see, I'm staying in this general area, but I, I'm not scared or anything, but this is, and I'm not camping either, because it's not like I'm sitting in a corner waiting for killers like that guy that was doing it on the stairs, because he just couldn't kill me with my shotgun, um, so, now I'm out of my spot, I'm just walking around, Bam, he's dead. I go over, um, decided to start capturing it. Bad idea. Don't want to start capturing it. I go over here. I kill that guy. I kill that guy. I turn around. I go over here. That guy. Now that guy jumped over. That's kind of hard because I'm being triple teamed, but I still killed two of them. See, now look at my kill streak bar. I have two more kills left for my EMP. My second EMP. And there I get shot, because this is where I'm starting to get jittery. Because I'm all like, ah. Um. So, I don't do very well when I'm getting close to my big kill streak. But watch here. I think I kill him. Yes, I do. And I turn the corner. Go here. Nobody there. Go back. I jump down because I see somebody, I run, he's not there anymore, I missed him. Then I see where the guy I'm going to try to kill is, he's up here, pretty sure he kills me. Or, no, he doesn't, Not he wasn't even there. So I go over here, I turn the corner for my final kill for my second EMP, and bam, second EMP. So, yes... Yes, it's not like I got like two nukes in one game or anything, but I'm just saying that's a definitely an achievement for me, and um, hope to see you guys again soon. Uh, I'll just let you guys watch this last in kind of peace, I guess. As you can see, these idiots right here just do not even know that I'm there, and I just easily capture, um, a...
and that will happen later in the game too. It's it's just retarded how much they don't even wash out for A. So now we're dominating them, and they're probably getting all jittery now because oh my God, we're losing! Holy shit! And it wants me to reconnect my controller, so I'll reconnect my controller and start the film back over again, which is retarded. I almost ran right into that guy. I was going for my third EMP, and obviously I'm probably not going to make it because it's 171 to 139. We're winning, and the score keeps going up. We don't obviously don't get to it. I kill that guy. And see, look, again. They're not watching out for A. They're just total retarded shitheads. They do not watch out for their flags, so I just killed them. I just went over there. We're dominating them again, and of course I died here because that was the best guy on the other team, and I was already hurt, and I was on the ground, and he had quick draw. So, now I'm over here. I saved the freaking guy's life. Um, which was pretty nice of me. I could have just let him die and then killed him, but that's not the kind of person I am. Uh, I saved his life. I go up here. I cannot remember. I kill that guy, I think. Yes. I got an assist, which totally should have been my kill, but Baby Kicker totally stole it from me. I do not get that kill, but of course, he, knowing me, I always chase my kills, and I never let that 150 XP escape. Um, or 50 XP, actually. Um... And I scream, get back here, 150 XP. Turns out it's more than that. And I go to try to get the Juggernaut, um, which I know if I had more time, I definitely would have gotten. And the game ends right when I'm in midair. And I think that was pretty terrible because I was going for that um, Juggernaut. And that would have been my Juggernaut because I was pawning these bastards. But as always, no. I don't get it. And as you can see, best in the lobby, yeah, voila. Not bad, we totally crushed their asses. And, um, uh, thanks for watching.